How's it going, everybody? My name is MDK W Land, otherwise known as MDK, and it's been a while. Um, as kind of an update to the last video I made, uh, my mom has uh, succumbed to her illness, and uh, she passed away on the 11th of September. So, uh, yeah, both my parents have uh, passed away this year, and been a little rough, but. Uh, I uh, mainly wanted to just say thank you uh, to all the people in the last video that had all the wonderful, encouraging words and the thank yous and shit like that. So I do highly appreciate the kindness that you guys were uh, giving me, essentially. Uh, so, again, thank you very much. Uh, but now, this is kind of an update video on... Basically, this is just backdropping for what I actually have to do. I haven't updated this arch box in a very long time. But, um, I want to say, for okay, for one, I have a ton of time on my hands now. Um, so, because of that, I can actually start doing videos again. And also, uh, because I have a ton of time on my hands, I'm probably going to start doing, um, See, I was debating this before on doing distro reviews because this kind of seems like a, an abused topic for um, Linux. It's it's a very abused topic. So if I find like some random weird distros, I'll probably do a distro review on them. But uh, can't guarantee anything. But uh, this is Archbox. It says it's 396, but I don't think the kernel is that far out of date. Um, but let's say here. No, nah, it's running three ten. It's behind, but it's not that bad. I was having a problem with Yawert before. I'm losing my train of thought, but I'm just speaking as is because I haven't made a video in a while. And yeah, but anyway, for as an update, like I said, I have a ton of time uh, time on my hands now, so uh, I can do a whole bunch of different shit, which is cool. And this is kind of a, a good segue here. Uh, I'm when my mom got diagnosed with her illness I actually moved to uh Minnesota. I was living in Pennsylvania. But now I live in Minnesota, good old Park Rapids. It's a small enough town and not dense enough that I really don't care if people come looking for me. And if you do, I'd probably just meet anyway. I'm not really that terrified of people. Anyway, um living in Minnesota now and one perk is I have way better internet. Uh, to those that actually remember, I was downloading with DSL before, and it would take ages to do this, and I'm downloading about, essentially, 3 megs, 3 megabytes a second, which is, you know, about, I think it's 50, 50 megs, 50 meg connection, a little less than that, so that's nice, uh, but I plan on going to, uh, back to college, eventually, uh, this time I'm actually going to a university, not just a community college, which will be very nice, and... I'm debating on changing my major. I'm thinking of going for programming, but I really don't want to take a computer science degree. Uh, I've met a lot of people that have computer science degrees, and they don't, they don't fuck all. And a lot of the computer science departments, all they do is push Microsoft uh, products for, the, for like programming. So say you learn C++, obviously they're going to want you to do it in Visual Studio uh, rather than... Um, I don't know, just doing it in, like, code blocks or any other IDE on the market. But right now, um, what I'd actually like to do is learn C and learn assembly and start doing shit with the Linux kernel. Now, granted, I know I'll never probably become a kernel developer, but I think it'd just be cool to just work on Linux on my free time, and it's also very good to know C and assembly. You can pretty much, you can do a lot of stuff with that. Not just Linux based, but a lot of stuff like that. So, that's me. That's just me rambling about what's going to, uh, my personal stuff that I have to deal with. So, uh, like I said, I might do a disturb reviews, a few disturb reviews in the future. And believe it or not, I'm going to take the plunge and try to make a video on Gen 2 believe it or not um, I've installed Gentoo several different times now and 
I think I understand it adequately enough to explain it. Uh, there's still other stuff that I kind of need to look into. Uh, for example, like optimized use flags versus just throwing every use flag at a solution that, you know. So, like, in Gen 2, it ever compiles everything from source, and you have your, your make, your, your make file, make.conf, and inside that you can list off all the different use flags that you have to use for to um, compile a program. And right now my solution is just taking whatever is suggested and just throwing it on it, which isn't it's not very good to do at all because you're just you're not optimizing it at all and it's kind of pointless to run gen2 like that it's also pointless to run gen2 with the gen kernel because that's what i've been doing because my concern isn't so much that i can't run gen2 or build a kernel that's not my concern my concern is uh... the process of setting up gen2 properly and how i set it up as a stage three tarball install using system rescue cd that's how i do it but with Gen2, you can technically install it from like an Ubuntu live disk. I just use System Rescue CD, so then I can connect into it through like say Putty or uh, just a, a terminal emulator from a Linux distro, and then you can just do copy and paste for like your portage snapshots or your um, um, stage three uh, snapshot as well. So that's the future. I'm going to try to make a Gen2 install video. Um, while I do have a lot of free time, I am I am currently living with a lot more people than I was before. Uh, before I was living with my father and my mother, uh, now I'm living with my aunt, my uncle, my cousin, my one cousin who's 23, my younger cousin who's 12, and my semi-younger cousin that is 19. And the only reason why I'm able to make this video right now is because nobody's home. So maybe in the future <laughs> when I have free time again I'll jump in on the Gen 2 video or what I'll end up doing is record it and then have to do the audio and post when people are sleeping so it's gonna be interesting to see how this channel continues to flourish but um, thank you for staying subscribed everybody that has stayed subscribed or just new people that have come uh, I know that uh, Java install videos helped quite a large amount of people which you know I'm glad and uh, pretty much every video I make, there will be no ads on it if I can prevent it. Obviously, at certain times you can't prevent it. But uh, I like to you know, keep ads out of all of this. I, d I don't need revenue for any of this. And even if I were to collect revenue, I'd probably just donate it to a Linux distro. Um, I do this purely out of fun, out of entertainment, and out of just helping people. I don't need to collect revenue for this. So, that being said... Um, if you can understand my like schizophrenic pattern of thought, uh, let's see, well, what did I cover? Uh, I live in Minnesota now. Faster internet, Gen 2 install video, living with a large amount of people. I think I covered everything. All right, but that's about it. Take care, guys. I'll see you soon. I'm thinking of doing a distro review in the future. Uh, I have one in mind that I actually really like, but I have to come up with some arbitrary unit of measurement for rating, which I might not just do. I'll just be like, hey, look at this, and just say, oh, yeah, it's cool, but then compare it to what it's based off of and stuff like that, but that's later on. Okay. Have a good one, guys. See you later.